Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the Top 5 Stories. At number 1, President Muhammadu Bari on Thursday promised to rescue the remaining 31 abductees of the Abuja Kaduna train attack through non combative means. Bari emphasized that his primary concern is to get everyone released safe and unhurt, disclosed in a statement by his senior special assistant on media and publicity, Gaba Shehu. The president said this during his visit to the representatives of family and relatives of the abductees. Bari explained that the government will not employ lethal force in freeing the remaining hostages. Recall that the terrorists released seven more victims and 31 are still in captivity. Over time, Nigerians are unaware if ransoms were paid for the releases. At number two on Thursday, fire got at the store in the House of Representatives session of the National Assembly Complex in Abuja. The incident took place at about 6 p.m. Firefighters from the Federal Fire Service, which has a permanent office on the premises, rushed to the office and put out the fire. The Director of Information, National Assembly, Rollins Agada, confirmed the incident in a statement issued on Thursday. The statement noted that the fire engulfed at one of the janitors located at the second floor, room 227, in the new wing of the House of Representatives, suspected to have resulted from an electrical fault. At number three, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami has said that the federal government will not interfere with the trial of former Deputy President of the Senate, Ike Ekwaramadu, over alleged Hogan Avestin in the United Kingdom. He said this on Thursday while fielding questions from State House reporters during the ministerial briefing organized by the Presidential Communications Team at the Presidential Villa Abuja. Malami explained that it has never been the tradition of Nigerian government to interfere with anything judicial local or international. He also explained that if a crime allegation is the issue, the jurisdiction determines what happens both in terms of request and support. At number four, the Nigerian women's under-20 team got off to a winning start at the 10th FIFA under-20 women's World Cup in Costa Rica on Friday morning as the battle to a 1-0 win over France in their first Group C match. The Falconets, who are two-time runners-up in the competition, overcame torrential rain and an hour delay to defeat France. The goal was scored in the 85th minute of the match. The Falconers' next game is on Sunday against Korea Republic at the Estadio Aljuela Morera Soto. Victory in that game will automatically assure Nigeria of a place in the tournament's quarterfinals. At number five, Nigerian lecturers under the aegis of the Colleges of Education Academic Staff Union have suspended their ongoing strike for a period of 60 days. The decision was taken at the National Executive Council meeting, which was held in Abuja. Recall that the union had embarked on a strike on June 10, 2022. The NEC, in a statement signed by the General Secretary, Dr. Ahmed Lawan, resolved that the nationwide strike action be suspended for a cool of period of 60 days to give government the opportunity to perfect the progress made so far into tangible achievements that are acceptable to the union. Currently, only university-based unions have remained on strike. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening. <music>